Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here. Um, I've got some news and don't you just love it when you resolve a problem to an issue you've been facing for years? Well, I love using Widgie and I love everything about it. The one bug bearer is the fact that it doesn't have a great refresh. And I've seen a lot of comments on Reddit around some of the issues around refresh. Well, I believe that I've resolved that today. Um, I'm really pleased with the solution. So I'd like to show you um, exactly what I've done. So what I'm going to do is show you that um, I've put two of my own widgy widgets here. You can see that I'm playing this song by Scissor. And usually if you press play pause, you have to then press the tap action to refresh. But this time I'm going to press pause and you will notice that the play button comes up immediately without me pressing the refresh. So we're going to press the next track and it will immediately reload. I'm going to try it again and again it will reload. Every now and then it does take a little while but it definitely works this solution. So as you can see there it has bugged out a little bit but it's not the end of the world. I'd much rather that than having to press refresh every single time I press a button. So let's show you exactly what I've done to resolve this. So these three at the top left they are my normal play pause next track or previous tracks shortcuts and open sesame that is the resolution it is as simple as turning reduce motion on and turning reduce motion off so let me remove these and we're going to go back i'm going to remove it from the next track so i can show you these as well and let's go back to those widgets and i'm going to try it again and Nothing's happened. Let's press next track. Nothing's happened. Let's press next track again. As you can see in the top right that it's definitely a moving track. And there we go. So hopefully this works for everyone. I really would love to know if this has worked for you. Uh, so give it a try. So we're going to stick these shortcuts back in. Reduce motion on and reduce motion off. That is it's e that easy. It really is that easy. And I have scratched my head around this for, God, I don't know how long. I've tried all sorts. So go and add two extra steps in your shortcuts and let me know what happens. Just to show you one more time that it wasn't a fluke, I'll press the next track. And you'll see... That one did take a little bit longer, but I think that's because it was a new addition. Uh, that happened the first time I put them on as well. I think it probably does have a couple of times where it bugs out. I don't know if that's series shortcuts, but it definitely, definitely works a lot better than not having it. So let's just go over here and show you another example. So this is a volume up or down or a set volume shortcut. You can see nothing's worked there because I haven't set reduced motion. So I'm going to go into my shortcuts app. I'm going to find a volume level to set. So there you go, set volume zero. I'll use this one and I'm going to go to my favorites. I've added it to my favorites now because I'm going to use it so much. Set reduce motion on and set reduce motion off. And I'm going to go back and we'll, I'll just show you a quick app refresh. You can see that it'll change. And then I'm going to press mute. And uh, no, I don't actually think the mute button is the right one. No, it isn't. So I'll unmute it and refresh again. And then I'll press zero. And then that should work. There we go. Work straight away. So I'm pretty happy that this has resolved the issue. That widget in the top right has just bugged out. Um, I will refresh it. So it's not absolutely perfect, but I'd rather have this going on and have to do that a couple of times than have to refresh it every single time. So we'll just press 100% and I'll have to refresh this one. And I'll press mute again, just to show it works straight away again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to do, I'm going to change the 100% volume and I'll put the reduced motion in. And let's press 100% now and this should reload. So there we go. 
Um, there's another play icon up in the top right here, so I'm going to press that and see how that gets on. That should reload quite quickly. There you go. So I think because this has got a lot more going on, this widget it probably does bug out because of that. So maybe reducing the widget a little bit might help. So there you go. Problem solved. Please let me know in the comments or on Reddit if this has helped. Um, I haven't seen this anywhere on Reddit. I actually found this because I have a lot of themes and I use reduce motion to quickly change wallpapers. So I'm going to take it as a win anyway. So I hope this really helps you. Please like, subscribe, comment, ring my bell, feed my ego, and I'll see you on the next one.